Let us move on to a true Dawn Guard Sunday morning tradition, which oh. is guess the NFL scores for the day uh, so the people who do sports betting can go waste their money. <laughs> All, right. All right. All right. I'm excited for this. I was worried we wouldn't uh, be able to, but now we can. The, the, uh, the, please keep in mind that uh, we... Um, uh, this is purely for entertainment purposes only. <laughs> Not a doctor. Wait, what? We know uh, very... In fact, I believe this year uh, we have even less expertise in the um, football realm than we normally right. do. Because usually in the past we've had Sarah around. Is she... Is she awake? Is someone wake up Sarah just so that she can be angry watching <laughs> yeah. us be bad at this? Um, I'm just going to grab a pen and paper, uh, and then I'll be back, and then I will uh, ask you for who's going to win all these games. So be right back. Okay. Let's do it. So while James is gone, can you guys remind me? I know that we we do the – that we also do – so we do who wins, but do we do by how much? Yes, and you give, uh, you give the number two. The point spread is number where we really two. fall down. Okay, and then tomorrow we'll review and see how we did. Uh huh. Great. I'm excited. I feel like the point spread. We might get better at the point spread if we actually like paid attention to what the scores in football are games even possible. are. Yeah. Yeah. What yeah. scores are like possible okay. in football games? We can do a test one. There was one game on Thursday night between the Colts and the Titans. What do you think happened? The Colts and the Titans. Well, one is a small horse, and the other is uh, the what is it? The predecessor of the Greek gods. Isn't that that what yeah, the Titans that, were? I gotta say, I mean, Colts are cute, but I that doesn't seem like that much of a contest Col in the realm Colts of football. Colts are pretty scrappy. I'm going yeah. to say it, it bites was, the ankles. Arr, arr, arr. It was thirty-two to seven for the Titans. That's my guess. Okay, Paul. Yeah, I'm going to say definitely Titans. Um, I yeah I yeah I'll say Titans but um let's say uh I no idea um everything rides on this <laughs> 6 7 and 3 uh, uh let's 67 at the first 3 No 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 sorry, seven, 673 six, multiples of 6 7 and 3 Oh, yeah. Uh, Ed once. Uh, it'll say uh, six to 20. Okay. For Same. the Titans? For, For the, the Titans. Titans. Ashton, do you quickly have a... a, a uh... Yeah, I think the, the Colts have the agility to uh, to mm. outpace um, the Titans. Get, I think they're too like big and heavy. Yeah, yeah. In between them. Yeah, okay. uh, so I'm gonna say Colts twenty four to twelve. Oh well, it was the Colts. In fact, beat the Titans. Mm. Uh, thirty four to seventeen. Thirty four to seventeen. All so, right, Serge. I think you were close. Just I had the other the other around. All right. Uh, may I suggest when we actually hop into this game? Uh, probably just for not talking, we should probably just do each person does one, and we just rotate through the circle. Mm -hmm. Right, yeah, that that yeah. I was just making sure we had oh, time yeah, 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 yeah. to all practice, and no, I think you nailed it. I think that was yeah, a good example of. I uh... agree. All right. Uh, <clears throat> so if that's the case, um, I have today's games. Hey, two two seven. By the way, thank yeah. you, everybody. Yeah. Keep those yeah. donations coming in. Ooh. I want this shirt to raise a stupid amount of money. Uh, ten and minutes you got left. Ten that. minutes left. Yeah. yeah so get them stupid in. All right. Stupid money. Stupid Paul, money. We're gonna start with you. Um, first match for today. Uh, These are starts, all like this afternoon. Uh, 10 a.m., 1 p.m., 5 p.m., and then there'll be one tomorrow night. Mm. <gasps> I'm excited about the second game. Sorry, go ahead. Um, so, Paul, Texans yeah. versus the Browns. Browns. Are they literally the Texas Texans? <laughs> what? Are they? No, like that's, they're, they're, they're the they're Cleveland Minnesota Texans. Texans. Yeah, the joke is, yeah, they're out of Florida. <laughs> Hilariously. <laughs> The Hawaiian Texans. The Ontario Texans. <laughs> Houston they're Texans. Canadian team. Yeah, they're he yeah. <laughs> they're Canadian, surprisingly. Yeah. Houston. Maybe more Calgary. Ver so the Texans versus the Browns. I feel like they're both pretty equal in terms of uh, uncreative names. <laughs> um, 
But uh, colors. I, get, I think I'm going to give it, I, I, I'll say, um, oh, right, of course. I was thinking, that's where I know the Browns, that they're the they're uh, the winningest team ever, according yeah. to uh, Cameron. <laughs> All right, let's go for that. Yeah, the Browns. Um, and then the, I have to do the points, right? So the yep. Browns. Um, 24 to 11. All right. Perfect. Um, Liz, for the first time in the history of this yes! game, yes! we don't have to edit the name of this team because they actually uh, changed their team's name <laughs> to the Washington bus. football team. Finally. Mm. Uh, which is a terrible name, and they need a new name, but at least it's not what it used to be. <laughs> so <laughs> that's Washington, D.C. Team. So this is Washington versus versus the Lions. So this is actually, um, we're going to say it, it's the football team versus the Lions. Can, is it George Washington versus the Lions? Uh, sure, if, if that's what you that's need to do. 12 this George is, Washingtons. <laughs> yeah. 12 George Washingtons <laughs> versus... Multiple lions because it's plural. I don't Wait, know. Is it, like... is it one duck sized George Washington or 12? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I think that uh, George Washington in his time could have tackled a lion. Um, multiple lions? Uh, 12 George Washingtons. Mm. Uh, yeah, he's got what? Is he got those teeth and the wig and the hat with points on it? Mm, I'm gonna go with the lions. Okay. Because they will eat his face off. Fair. And What's I'm the score? I'm still mad at the Washington team. Um, the score is hmm, 48 to three. Wow. For, so 48 to three. Wow. Okay. Just best imagining George White. You know, I cannot tell a lie. I totally fought a lion. <laughs> <laughs> totally. <laughs> And, and, people, and people are like, well, he's that's his thing. He doesn't lie. I guess that's I guess he fought a lion. Yeah. Uh, all right. I'd also like to point out that it's very easy to tell that Johnny is in charge of our overlay because he has put up the BC Lottery Corporation's uh, slogan, which is know your limit, play within it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Serge, Hi. you're next. The Buccaneers versus the Panthers. So we have pirates versus a large predator feline. Is that correct? Yeah. Mm. All right. Uh, pirates have the advantage in water. Uh, and thumbs. And thumbs. Yeah. Cats <laughs> don't have thumbs, which is going to be difficult in a game. But if they were in the jungle, I'm pretty sure I would go, you know, 100 to 0 for the, the cats. But considering this contest is taking place neither in a jungle nor at sea, it's going to be a little bit closer here. Buccaneers have guns. I will say that. Uh, without giving too much away, and I'm sure you probably don't know what this even alludes to, uh, the Buccaneers have a really good pirate this year. A really good pirate? Yeah. <gasps> They've upgraded their pirates since last year. All right. I'm going to say Wait. this is a close game. Uh, this is going to be the Buccaneers winning 21 to 14. All right. James, that cur- sounded like NFL knowledge. That it has was. no place here. Sorry, I apologize. Well, in this box, there's a little bit of knowledge. And if for anybody wondering, and Serge, if you're wondering, uh, that's where Tom Brady Tom plays Brady, now. Yeah. yeah. Oh, we know. Oh, that's um, the good pirate. I thought you were talking about like a 12 foot well, skeleton logo or something like that. He's a bad pirate. He's a Try to get pirate. out of here. Uh, Ashton. Yo. Uh, on me. Eagles versus the Giants. Are the Eagles giant? Uh, no, they're regular, regular sized eagles. eagles. Okay. Are these the same eagles that didn't just fly Frodo to Mordor and just decide to leave them there? Well, they just... are. They are going to be like in the air, right around the giants' faces, and they've got those like beaks and talon things. So I'm going to go with the eagles on this one. Cop. Okay. Uh, cop. And uh, I'm going to say thirty-two to zero. Oh my god. Eagles they 32 to 0. Giants get nothing. All right. Nothing. I, somebody is uh, commenting bet, on, bet on low, the people, bet low. Prometheus uh, as an example of eagle versus uh, giant. 
But I would point out that that Prometheus was chained to a big rock, uh, a mountain for that one, which yeah. doesn't seem like a fair contest. <laughs> My favorite thing so far is the people in chat commenting on how many times that scoreline has ever happened in the history of football. That's been yep. that's been good. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ten times uh, all right. in history. All right. Back to <laughs> Ten times in entire NFL history. <laughs> that's better than some of the numbers we're showing. It's out. about to be eleven. Uh, Paul. Mm -hmm. Jaguars versus the Packers. Hmm. So, more more big cats versus people who are good at moving. <laughs> <laughs> no packing, not moving, just packing. Yeah, yeah. They're the Packers, not the movers. <laughs> <laughs> to be to be fair, though, that's like a big part of moving. I know it's the hardest part, especially if you label it well. Takes time, strategy, meat packing. I, yeah, I feel like uh, I, I feel like the 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 discipline and uh, uh, logistics that you is required for um, to be a good packer uh, of whatever um, would lend itself towards uh, also operating a uh, good football team. So I'm gonna say I'm gonna say uh, the Packers um, over the Jaguars. Okay. Um, they have packed and, those Jaguars. Yeah, and uh, let's see. I, I don't. I don't know what the numbers are. Let's you say uh, forty to twenty. Perfect. Uh, Paul, could you do me a favor and stand up and show off that shirt you're wearing? That's Remind your folks, we have two minutes left in the sure. giveaway. For five dollars and twenty cents, if you get your donation in of five twenty or multiples thereof in the next two minutes, you will have a chance to win that shirt. I would love to see our donation total climb in the last two minutes, so get those donations in, please. Let's see if we can get to twenty two seven five hundred, which is only about two hundred and fifty bucks away. Easy peasy, I say. Right. Let's go. Paul, I, quick I love... point of clarification: Did you say forty to twenty or forty two to twenty? I heard 40 to 20. 40, uh, 40 whichever zero. one of those is more plausible. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna, the scoreline I, you I, picked has happened four times in NFL history. Yeah, I've put you down as 40 to 20. 40 to 20. <laughs> uh, oh, okay. Uh, thank you, Anonymous, for the $543.21 donation. Skyrocketing us. Okay, right there. let's get to 228 now then. 228. Uh, who's next? Liz. Oh, next hour already. <laughs> Bills versus the Cardinals. Okay, so is this Buffalo Bills or just Bills? I don't know, whatever you need to tell yourself to f figure out a score. Okay, there's a bunch of buffaloes attacking birds. They're like little birds, right? Yeah, but sometimes birds, they can fly around. Maybe they'll perch on the back of the buffaloes and like yeah, they, them. Yeah, and buffaloes like, have like a, a symbiotic relationship with some birds, right? Where they'll just like sit there eating bugs and stuff. Yeah, exactly. But and then I'll lull them into, you know, this false sense of security and then turn on them. <laughs> um, but I'm always going to have to go for Bill. Zip. Okay. Um, so, Bills win, and it's 42 to 21. Okay. Awesome. Um, Serge, Chargers versus the Dolphins. Sorry, just getting some very important information here. The most common scoreline in NFL history is 20 to 17. Okay. Cool. You said Chargers versus the Dolphins? Yep. So we have, uh, who makes the Charger? Is That's Dodge? That's that brand of car, is that correct? Correct. Yeah, all right. So we have the Dodge Charger versus a bunch of water mammals that are unfortunately on land. Um, mm. And I've seen Ace Ventura, Pet Detective. Apparently the dolphins are also all criminals. I think that's, I don't remember much about that movie other than Guar being in there. But I, I think it I It didn't age that. well. Oh, yeah. I, oh, you're right. It super didn't age well. Yeah. Oh, mega yikes. Mega yikes. All right. Um, so we're just going to assume that they're running back. That's a position in football, right? Is going yep. to get into their sponsored Dodge Charger. 
get in the vehicle. And 20 is a common number, so the Dodgers are going to win 20. And the Dolphins are only going to have 10 points. 20 to 10 Chargers over the Dolphins. They're going to get one touchdown and a kicky thing. Perfect. Field goal. Field goal. Uh, thank you, everybody. Kicky we did it. 228 by the end of that giveaway. Thank you, friends. Yay. We will pull a winner for that um, after we are done the football scores. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, apparently, uh, Serge, the one thing you remember was incorrect. Oh, it was Guar Cannibal not, Corpse, not Guar? Yeah. Oh, man. That was such uh, a right. great scene, though. But yeah. Uh, sir, or er, no, Ashton. Yes. Broncos versus the Raiders. Stopping. Stop. Wait, wait. Stop. Bus stop. Oh, bus stop. Bus stop. Bus stop. Oh. Uh, All right. The, the bus open. is stopped. Ah, uh, just too far. No, you're too uh, far. Oh, nice try, Paul. Uh, nice try. Oh, back man. on the road, though. Back on the road. Ugh. I'm just back on the road. There you missed goes. it. Dang. Uh, sorry, Broncos and Raiders. Yep. Uh, I'm gonna go with Raiders. Okay. And twenty-four to twelve. Twenty-four to twelve. Any reason? Um, not really. It just felt right. I was thinking about it for a bit. I'm like, hmm, I don't have, I don't have uh, a lot of uh, attachment to either of these names. So, <laughs> I'm gonna pick All whatever right. feels right, and that felt right. Fair. Uh, back to Paul. Seahawks right. versus the Rams. Oh, I'm watching. Mm. <laughs> Do you have a, a personal opinion in this one? Yeah, prob probably the Rams, obviously. Uh, I'm from Seattle, so <laughs> obviously. Caca! Uh, Seahawks, specifically Seahawks, not just regular Hawks, versus the Rams. I mean, I guess it depends a lot on whether how close to the sea the uh, actual wait is it a home game or an away game can we tell um, good question are they at the sea Ta no they're not they're not no oh that means I the Seahawks are going to be real tired they're in LA they had to fly Which, I mean, all the way inland they're in uh, the Rams play in LA right so they're still close to the sea oh, okay that's not so bad call <laughs> yeah call your heart call <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I'll I'll say I'll say Seahawks. Okay. Score? Uh let's 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 go with the 2017, which is apparently the most common score that you can have. Perfect. Um all right, Liz. 2017. Wait. Bengals <laughs> versus the Steelers. Okay. So Bengals, so they're like Tigers mm -hmm. versus Piles of steel. Yep. Or they're just some guys from Bengal. Yeah, True. but Versus steel. People who steal things. People who steal piles of steel. Hmm. I like, I'm not so much a thief. I'm more of a stealer. <laughs> yeah. Maybe they will steal the tigers. Um, and hide them away so they won't have a chance to win. And they'll cheat like they did in the Super Bowl against the Seahawks. Damn. <clears throat> oh. All right. I mean, so I don't know sports. Score. Uh, so Steelers for stealing the game. Yeah. Um, to, uh, by twenty-one to zero. They didn't have Who, a chance to play. They stole sorry. the Tigers before. Who's winning? It's Steelers. Okay. They stole it. Right. Okay. Twenty-one zero. Perfect. All the points. Uh, um, where are we at? Uh, Surge. Yo. Later. Can you get four points in American football? Yes. Uh, you yes. could. Did you the How? version? Oh, you mean at once? Yeah. No. no. Sorry, I thought you meant like, could you end with a score of four and wait? Could you? You How could because you, you, you get two twice. Two is a two-point conversion, right? Yeah. Yeah. Or a safety. Right. Okay. Two safeties. Two safeties. Mega hard. Okay. Not the All conversion. Right. The convert because the conversion would mean you you got you got, got the six first and you got, you got the field. Yeah, 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 you got the yeah. Touchdown. Sport yeah. numbers. What what's the touchback? All right. It, don't worry like about this. it. <laughs> don't don't get into it's it. It's like this. Okay. This is, I'm just trying to figure out if if touchback. like. Yeah. Yeah. That's fair. Okay. All right. Forty Niners 
okay. versus the Saints. Wow. This is a big one. Just the number 49 versus somebody who has touched upon the doors of godhood. <laughs> wow. I like minor 49er. Isn't Here's an important question. Uh, do the 49ers get to break the rule of how many people are on the field at a time? Are there 49 of them? Whatever answer gets me the score I faster. So. <laughs> okay, I, still, I still think even if there's 49 people on there, they can't be. I've been reading a lot of Wusha lately, and Saint is pretty powerful. <laughs> Typically, Saints have a thousand years of lifespan, and if they can hit Godhood, they become immortal. So I think through the power of their martial arts, the Saints are probably going to take it here. Okay. Um, 49 is a lot of people, but you can't break, break pause, or stop anybody who can fly. So let's go uh, 21 to 7 for the Saints. Okay. Hmm. Um, Ashton. There's yes. a lot of football games happening today. This Sunday is, is football, football day. Football. Sunday, yeah. Sunday, Sunday. You, you play every every game except for two. So football is Thursday, played Monday. Thursday, Sunday, Monday. This year, sometimes Tuesday. Um, but there's one game on Thursday, one game on Monday, and then every other game is on Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Uh, Ravens versus the Patriots. Mm -hmm. Caca. This implies that the Ravens are not Patriots. Thank you, the uh, Patriotic uh, Ravens. I like the Ravens. I like the Ravens for this one. Mm -hmm. um, they can use tools. They can. They're intelligent. Uh, <laughs> they're not. They're I don't not, know what. I don't uh, know whether the Patriots can use tools, but the Ravens definitely prob can. Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with the the safe bet here. What was it? 2017. Okay. Was that the? Was yeah. that the thing? Yeah. Good 2017. Year, For who again? Sorry. The Patriots. The Ravens. The Ravens. Okay. Stop trying to get me to go with the Patriots, James. <laughs> yeah, James. Your All bias right. Is showing. Um, Let's do final, Monday's game. Final score, which is Monday's game. So we won't know this one until tomorrow. Uh, and I will leave this up to group discussion. We can have one. Okay. Because this is a good one. <gasps> Vikings versus bears. Ah! Go. Vikings have big knives and sometimes they have dragons, according to cartoons I like. Very important question. Um, who, Where is it being played? Is it being played in the sea or is it being played in the mountains? Uh, it's being played on the plains. <laughs> on the, it's being played on a very flat plain. No, but like who's the home team here? Bears. The bears. Like, Vikings are basically bears. Yes. Oh, I mean, the... plus they have all of the things that Vikings have. Same amount of hair, but one team has axes. I'm yeah, sure that's are you true. Able to show us your inner Viking. Again. <laughs> no, maybe later. And again, one team has thumbs, which could help a lot Ooh. with the carrying of the football aspect. Yep. What if one of the Vikings has a dragon, uh, a dragonborn from Skyrim, and it can fusro broad? I mean, that's got to be what a kicker, right? They could kick that from the next city. Just drag and shout that ball. I think you're supposed to. You have to kick it. You can't just shout the ball across the wall. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> kick off. <laughs> yeah. What if you kick the ball and then you use your voice to send it further? Yes. Oh, that's yeah. Good. Technically, that is still kicking. Okay, but if the bears swipe at it with their claws and then get the ball stuck on their hand and then like run really far and then bite uh, the face of a Viking and then keep running, is that's that true. a touchdown? That's true. Like if a bear is running towards the finish line, who's going to get in his way? <laughs> I mean, that's really, true. like how do you stop a bear that is making its way for the touch for the for the touchdown? A Viking seems like the kind of person would try but i think you're right i think they would fail miserably against a bear okay but what if one of the vikings pretends he's a bear and wears like a bear skin that it's previously hunted for and then it's like i'm just a bear and then he like pass me the ball and then he takes the ball and <laughs> yeah, then he's like ha ha yeah and then runs the other way then it's like what i thought you were on our team i don't think the i don't think the bears have very good teamwork i think they're more solitary and i think just the the viking raiding party has more experience working as a team mm. Mm. that's true mm -hmm. that's true mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. And I think I think the I think the Vikings are gonna have a better idea of like getting to the vulnerable quarterback with their like raiding party things. Like their long ships is gonna go around and 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 pillage the quarterback for a fumble. Uh, 
Ashton, do you have a preference? <laughs> no, not really. I'm feeling a little neutral in this one. <laughs> oh, it's also winter. Are the bears hibernating? Excellent question here. That's good. Uh, they go to bed after this game. All right. That's true. Uh, so they might be kind of sleepy. Should we make this a democracy? I vote. I vote uh, Vikings. Vikings. Yeah, I think yeah, it's gonna I mean, be Vikings. I guess. All right. Sure, sure, <laughs> sure. But Vikings. We went back and forth here. Do you think it's gonna be a closer game or a blowout? I feel like it's gonna be close until that Viking who's pretending to be a bear with his dragon <laughs> comes in and like that's the trick play. All right, pretty close. Should we go for that super common scoreline there? Like uh, a 21 to... Hold on, hold on. 10-4 game? 17, because the two touch browns... Touch browns. Two touchdowns <laughs> is 14, and then three for a kicky thing. Yeah. 21 to 17? For who? Vi I don't want to just say that. Let me know. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Vikings, 21. Okay. Bear, 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 bear. 17. 17. Okay. Uh, Serge, while I recap these scores to chat, can you um, get the winner for the t-shirt? Oh, I would ready love to get go. a winner for the t-shirt. So, All right, friends. Here we go. I'm going to read these uh, scores really quick so you can all go bet lots of money and win very little. <laughs> Texans, 11. Browns, 24. Washington, 3. Lions, 48. Buccaneers, 21. Panthers, 14. Eagles, 32. Giants, Zero. Jaguars, 20. Packers, 40. Bills, 42. Cardinals, 21. Chargers, 20. Dolphins, 10. Broncos, 12. Raiders, 24. Seahawks, 20. Rams, 17. Bengals, 0. Steelers, 21. 49ers, 7. Saints, 21. Ravens, 20. Patriots, 17. And finally, Vikings, 21. Bears, 17. Place your bets. Or probably don't. Probably we don't know don't. what we're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Imagine, imagine the, like, disruption and conspiracy theories that would happen if, like, all of these were correct. Oh, my God. <laughs> like, how that would com basically completely completely like break the sports betting market like oh my gosh open like, we who would are be, these geniuses people would follow us next year you know it's 2020 anything can happen 